how are you i hope all of you are enjoying your life my dear friend in this video i am going to discuss about a very important digital teaching tool that is mind map dear friends mind map is nothing but it's a software by which you can visualize your thinking process mind map is a software by which you can present your thoughts on a piece of paper or on a computer mind map is a software by which you can present your data in terms of colorful maps this is a tool which will be very useful for our digital teachers because when we do the digital teaching as well as online teaching the students are not in front of you they are attending your classes from a farer end and under the circumstances to maintain the concentration level of the student it is must that you can you should present your data as much as possible in terms of visuals so that their attention level can be maintained if you google it there are a lot of mind map softwares are available few are free few are pre trial with a limited feature and for a limited time and if you want advanced you are supposed to go for paid version and few are only paid in this video i'm going to discuss about one of our freely available mind map software with the excellent feature that is gitmind so now without wasting time i am sharing my screen where i will directly uh, go to that particular gitmind software and will brief you step by step process of using that mind map software let's go to google here we are supposed to type gitmind you can see at the top gitmind free online mind mapping website is coming so we are supposed to click on this now it will ask you like it is asking for get started it's free so we are supposed to click on that now once you click on that there are lot of uh, templates are available uh, education product lot of templates are available i don't want to use the standard template i want to make my own template so i will go for new mind map it will ask you to sign it with either you can sign it with google or twitter or facebook i will sign it with my google account so i can sign it with my google uh, i am signing in with my google account so let's choose my account so once you choose it this is a default window that will appear in front of you i have already created few mind maps so that uh, created mind map list is showing uh, i want to create new so that i can brief you the uh, all the features so just click on this new it will ask you new whether you want to create a mind map or you want to create a flow chart so i want to create a mind map so i can click on this so this is a default screen of a mind map new mind map create a mind map for top 3 top 3 mind map software top 3 mind map software softwares so this is how when when the uh, length of the text is more automatically that uh, block will also increase it will uh, take it will automatically uh, it will automatically change the width of the block uh, size of the block when the width of the text is more then automatically uh, the block will reshape as per the width of the text now right now this is a default uh, theme if you want to change the theme there are standard themes are available suppose i want this theme i can choose this theme uh, so it will automatically apply on a mind map now apart from that uh, suppose uh whatever theme you have chosen you don't want uh, this color you want to change the color that we can do by this uh, icon i will take this particular icon later on first uh, let me make the uh, mind map then we will do uh, how to apply this particular icon 
now this is for outline this is for if you want to insert some comment you can insert here this is suppose if you want to uh, do uh, relate one particular box with the another you can do like this this is for to insert the summary so now let us uh, create the mind map um, if you want to this is the main node if you want to add the nodes we are supposed to enter the tab so once i press the tab you can see that sub node appearing so top 3 mind map software mein suppose the the mind map software which i am discussing right now this is git mind so one mind map software is git mind then again enter tab the second is mind mister third one is uh you can right kogal so these are the three mind map softwares are available now suppose you want to write something about git mind like uh, about if you want to write about it if you want to write its features you can do like this if you want to mention its price you can write like this if you want to mention ideal for like what kind of customer they should use for it uh, for this mind map so you can write ideal for similarly all these four points you can write for mind mister also then features then price then ideal for the same i will write for kogal also about features price and ideal for now i just want to tell the use of this style theme right now we have chosen one particular theme and whatever mind map you are making that will be as per that theme only uh, this particular uh, mind map suppose if you want to uh, if you don't like this uh, box color and if you want to change the colors of the lines and all those thing that we can do with the help of this style it will ask you that uh, for what kind of uh, node you want to change the color and all those things so suppose i want to change it for main node main node is this okay now if i want to change the color of line suppose i want to make it red and i want to make it of 2px then this suppose i want to uh, make the border of a box of uh, this color width i want to make it this one suppose i want to fill it with this pink color so you can see here this is filled by pink color or i can change another color also i can make it green also uh border let me change with another color let us uh, let us make with a blue color so you can see here now these are with yellow color border is with purple color and the lines connecting lines are with red color so this is how uh, we can do it if you click on all four the same theme will apply for all so this is how you can change the colors and all those things now suppose if you want to enter the images what you can do you can go to this attachment you can insert image you are supposed to select file suppose i am uh, uh, there is one picture available here i am selecting it open it is uploading that uh, image here and then okay so this is how you can insert the images also and uh, if you want to change the layout right now it is in this layout form you can do like this also you can do like this also you can do like this also you can go with this also 
so you can choose the layout also right now i'm doing this layout so this is how you can change the layout if you want to save the file you can save that particular mind map by using this if you want want to invite collaborator for this mind map you can invite with this if you want to enter some text you can enter uh, by clicking on this if you want to clear the style you can clear by this like suppose this is the text and i want to increase the size i can change the size i can bold it i can italic it i can underline it so this is how you can change the color also suppose now i want uh, i want to fill it with by red color and if you want to change the font color you can change by this so font color also change if you want to change the uh, box uh, background color you can or we have already changed it by pink uh, magenta color you can choose like this if you want to clear the style you can clear the style also here you can see like if you want to zoom it you can zoom it if you want to reduce it you can reduce the size if you want to make it on full screen you can make it on full screen if you want to again go back exit full screen we are supposed to click on escape if you want to uh, convert this mind map in form of outline you can click on that so that complete mind map information will now converted into a form of outline if you want to insert some comment you can insert comments here i am or you can write this is mind map for visualizing the thought process so comment so this is how you can insert the if you want to share it you can share it uh, by clicking on this if you want to export it you can export uh in whatever file format you want to export you can export it so like right now i want to export in pdf file so just click on pdf and uh, export click on export you can see here at the bottom that file has been uh, exported in form of pdf you can save it and uh, for your future purpose so that's it i'm stop sharing my screen Uh, i hope whatever information i have shared related to git mind map software will be useful for you and you will start practicing this particular software for your teaching purpose my dear friends if you like this video kindly press the like button and in future if you want that whenever i make video related to your digital teaching tools that uh, that notification should reach to you then please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you